Hello and welcome back to the channel once again. I am Alan. Leanne is around somewhere. Um, she's not needed for this video. It's totally fine. We wanted to start putting some maybe shorter videos up. We are aware that we do a lot of long videos uh, with our uh, AEW stuff, our WWE stuff, our video gaming stuff, the board games. They tend to be quite long. Um, so we wanted to do a quick, quick, quick unboxing of something that I picked up recently. Um, it's a, a fairly newish release. Technically, the original was out in 1988. You've already seen the title card, you already know where this is. Um, but I've got the actual product here arrived this morning. So I'm gonna see if I can crack into this without Mr. Slice, because some of these can be very hit or miss. Hey, look at that. Um, so this is a very influential film. It's a very popular film, and it has recently had the 4K update, which is what I hold in my hands. Um, it's something that a lot of anime fans um, live and breathe by and cyberpunk kind of sort of spurned off from this film um, it's obviously Akira um, I'm probably gonna get a lot of glare off that so I'll pedal cellophane off that first so Mr. Slice is gonna come in handy um, so anyone who's not seen Akira um, I would highly 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 recommend watching it regardless of whether you're an anime fan or not it is I'd probably say genre defining um, in a sense and it definitely made anime one of the main staples of culture of what we have now, as well as the sort of futuristic dystopia cyberpunk kind of feel to it. That's better, let's glare off that now. Um, I'm not gonna give away story spoilers. That's not what the aim of these videos are. This is literally just a an unboxing to show you what's in this set. If you like the film and you don't quite know what's in the set or the stats about the set itself, then this is what that's gonna serve the purpose for. So it comes in quite a, a nice sort of, this is the, the um, I think it was the, uh, limited edition version if i remember correctly i can't remember the exact terminology there's two different editions you've got the standard which i'm assuming is just the case in here and then you've got the bits with the extra extra disc and you've got the extra i think it's like a booklet um in here as well so um on the back we've got the stats um so i'll just pop those there but it's a 4k remaster so you got a 4k ultra hd blu-ray disc you got a standard blu-ray disc i'm gonna pull the j sleeve off oh hello different artwork on the back um Bonus Blu-ray special features includes Akira Sound Making 2019. So I think they did the whole um, remastering of the film per se in 2019 in HD and 4K for cinema release. And then they obviously put it on to this now. I think this was released either earlier this year or late last year. Um, and you get an Akira Sound clip by uh, a name which I'm not going to try and pronounce because that's I, I don't want to butcher it. You also get the end credits from the 1988 theatrical release, a theatrical preview trailer collection with English subtitles and a storyboard collection. Um, in terms of technical specs, the 4K disc is region A or B and it has Dolby Audio. It doesn't have Dolby Atmos by the looks of it, but it does have Dolby Audio. Um, yeah, English 5.1, so you've got English... So I'm guessing the English 5.1 is the original um, English track. You've got English 5.1 2001, which I'm guessing is a redub and English 2.0. But is there no... Okay, is there no Japanese on the 4K? That would be weird. Hi, Rex. It does have subtitles. That could be a misprint. Um, we'll take a look at the disc in a sec. On the Blu-ray, again, region A and B. So the different regions are different. Uh, you can play them in certain countries and certain countries won't play certain regions. You've got Dolby True HD on that one. Uh, the sound, you've got the 5.1 uh, 2001 English dub, uh, the 1988 stereo dub, and you've got the Japanese 5.1 20, uh, 2009 track on that one and the special features are in English and Japanese in stereo obviously it's going to have full oh oh rags don't rub the camera you got full 1080p on the blu-ray disc and obviously 4k 2160p on the 4k disc because that's what you expect the 4k disc if you buy oh rags come on <laughs> if sorry you buy, if anyone gets seasick <laughs> if you buy a 4k disc um I'm st still old yeah um, if you buy a 4K disc, you want to be in 4K. If you buy a HD disc, you want to be in HD. You don't want some sub HD or sub 4K. So on the back of the, the box is some of the original artwork. And then that's, that, that is original artwork on the front as well. But that's a part of the film, um, which again, I'm not going to give spoilers. So just slide that out, go for the discs first. So yeah, it's the exact same. So I'm not sure if the 4K does have a Japanese audio track. It's gonna be very weird if there isn't. It could be just a misprint on the on the back of the case itself. Um, I will check that before we upload this and I'll put in the comments below um, what's going on with that. Um, so the front of that, I really like this piece of art on there. That's really nice. 
very red and black and the dark stark colors with the contrast is really nice on that so then we open this up and we've got that's the ultra uh, ultra hd disc we've got standard blu-ray disc and extras and then we've got the bonus blu-ray which is only available in this particular set I've just spotted something on that, which I'll have a look in a sec. You only get this third disc in this set. If you buy the standard, you only get those two discs, this one and this one. This is uh, for this set only. Um, I have just clocked. Oh, I thought it was a double-sided. So some of these come with double-sided sleeves. It's just red to kind of match with the black and red because the gaps in the, in the case. So that's kind of cool though that they've gone through and printed that on uh, either on red paper or they printed it as red on the back of that, which is pretty cool. Just goes that little bit extra. It's, it's a bit more uh, craftsmanship on the product. So there's the product there, the discs itself. And then you also get this, I'll turn it sideways that way so you get this book as well. And we're gonna have a quick flip through on the camera. Uh, the energy of Acura stimulates the human mind. So I believe this is some sort of essay that was written in regards to how Acura is still uh, relevant how it sort of stimulates the human mind into thinking about different things and there's a very heavy film um, then you've got the music to Acura continues to evolve in 2020 so how the music and how it's again it sort of influences a lot of people so we've got a few interviews in here as well uh, this could be a really interesting read um, and then we've got the timeline of events oh okay so there's like a little timeline of events in the entirety of the of the, the build-up to the film, I'm assuming. Uh, and then you've got the credits. Well, no, it's quite a nice little book. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this in 4K. There's some really amazing set pieces. Um, oh, I just realized it does that too. There's some really nice animation um, in this film. And I think the first time Leanne saw it, you were kind of blown away by how good it looked, considering it was 88 that it was made. Yep, it holds up. And to see all the moving parts, all the integral moving parts, there's a part at the end of this where there's a lot of moving parts. I don't want to give any spoilers if you haven't seen it, but there's a lot of moving parts at the end of this film. All the little nuts and bolts and everything that's sort of moving, every single piece is animated individually. It's not just lazily gone, there's a screw, let's float it in. It's literally, it, it, it's stunning. And this in 4K, it's going to be amazing, I think, and I can't wait to, to, to feast my eyes on this. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's, that's, that's a nice, short, sweet unboxing um, of Akira. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. I think it's on Netflix if you have got access to the streaming service. Um, I'm not a big fan of the streaming service because you do get a lot of packet loss and you get a quality degradation. That's why I always prefer physical media myself. Plus, when your net goes down, what are you going to do if you just got streaming? Sit there twiddling your thumbs. Anyway, um, I've been Alan for the Alan Presents. This has been a quick unboxing of Akira, the 4K edition. Um, I'll put a link to the product um, on a couple of vendors. I personally picked this up on HMV's website. Um, it's on Amazon, it's on HMV, it's probably on Xavi as well. I don't particularly like Xavi because they stiffed me over a few times, but it doesn't matter. Um, but this is still readily available, but if not, the, the standard edition is also already available. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, make sure you get notifications anytime we do any more unboxings like this. We're hoping to do some more unboxings for smaller things like this. Um, I might even go back through and unbox uh, some of the previous things I've bought, just to show some of the nice additions that uh, Leanne and I previously have purchased in the past. We've got a particularly nice Battle Royale 4K um, set, which is absolutely stunning. So I might go back and do some uh, second time unboxings? Uh, previously opened unboxings? I don't know what we're gonna call it yet, but I might end up doing that and it could be quite an interesting little thing. Just a short, sweet, punchy videos, 10, 15 minutes long maximum. Just to just to fill in some time for your day if you need to, a bit of a filler. Um, but yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, join the comments below. What's your favorite anime film? Is Akira your favorite anime film? What got you into anime? Just let us know, join the conversation below, join us on social media, and we will see you in the next video. And Rags is still trying to write the place. Bye for now. <laughs>